SprintCarUnlimited.com. Coming from opening day, Port Royal Speedway. We're here with winner Danny Dietrich. Uh, Danny, I talked to you beforehand. You had a really good car in the heat race. You started 11th, moved up to 8th on the first uh, lap after the after the incident. You found something on the top, and that just <laughs> <laughs> and blew around uh, six cars to get into second early. And then from there, uh, we'll talk about how you got the pass for the win. But uh, this car was so good all day. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't. Uh, we came here with a different mindset today. Something we've been wanting to try. I told Jake, oh, probably a month ago, what I wanted to try when I was thinking about things um, one day, and uh, actually had to, to to question him. Like, hey, what did I tell you I wanted to do? I kind of <laughs> forgot the whole the whole idea of it and combination a little bit. Uh, I had an idea, but I, sometimes you, you get ideas in your head and you, you you tell somebody else so they can help remember, and um, it just worked out. It was uh, the things we were doing. We ran. Part of a different setup in warm-ups. Wanted to see how that felt. Um, basically, for more or less like the time trial uh, situations we're going to have up here. Um, so today was kind of a practice day, and, and then we did some other stuff there for the heat and the feature, and uh, everything worked really, really well. So uh, pretty excited. We might be, maybe we're on to something in other places as well. So it rubbers it rubbers up. You're following Devin lap after lap. You're right on his bumper. You know he pull away a little, then you come I'd back make a mistake and you'd make a mistake in one and two but uh you didn't make a one a mistake in one and two late off a restart you slipped under him going into one i thought the move was started just on the start you got so close to him i don't think i've ever seen anybody get that that close to somebody's rear by the cone yeah i uh that was it wasn't just turn one that that restart started in turn four um before he even got on the gas really i was able to to time his start perfect and uh just roll the right places of the racetrack at the right time and you know i almost pushed him through the cone and and that's kind of that was what i was trying to do you know very rare do you ever hit what you want to do perfect um you know what you're thinking you need to do on a restart you a lot of times you you don't execute or you know, something happens and you can't perfectly do it and uh I still, I still chuckle because I don't think I could do it like that again. You know, uh, we had a really good car and was able to just time it and pretty much pushing through the cone and then just kind of once we got past cone, just turn left and get get position if I had the the mile per hour to get by him uh, or get beside him and then have position going into one on the bottom and uh, we were able to do that. You know, it's just just a experience thing and uh, being a uh, little bit of a veteran. You know, when it comes to the 410 deal anymore, uh, I hate saying it, but. You know, he's, he's, he's kind of a new guy, you know, and, and he's going to learn from what he did there, what he might want to do different. I don't, you know, whatever they want to do, their car different, but driving, you do a little things a little bit different. And we're just going to keep uh, doing what we're doing. We're fast. And, it, it, and like I said, if we're fast and we're up front, we're going to get these wins. You know, I wanted to talk about the experience part because I talked to him and he's, he's never been in that position. And the two worst guys he could have behind him is you or Lance Deweese. Yeah. It just lined up perfect. He said it won't happen again <laughs> because uh, – and. If you had to do this 10 times, you'd probably only pull it off once. Well, here, here's the thing. You know, he says it won't happen again. I, I, I'd imagine he's probably thinking to himself, you know, he's not going to leave the bottom open again. Well, if you know me or Lance, <laughs> uh, we would prefer to not go underneath. You know, we would rather see somebody ease up and tiptoe in on the bottom because we could just drive around the right rear. Right side. rear, yeah. Um, done it a million times. Lance has done it a million and a half times. Um, he's done it a half a million times to me. Um, so it's just, it's one of them things where, you know, it just, um, it isn't just as easy as just going to the bottom, uh, or leaving a lane open. I mean, you, you, there's, there's a lot to it, you know, <laughs> it's not very easy and, uh, makes you pretty happy when you can execute and pull it off, uh, especially when you don't get many opportunities like that in the rubber on a restart late like that. Tires started to pop. Were you concerned there? Uh, cause you, once you got out front, you were gone. I was really good in clean air. I mean. When I would make a mistake and, and, and lose 10 car land side and running down in a corner, um, there was just nowhere to get around him. You know, I, I kind of, I might have maybe screwed up and uh, kind of didn't pass him when I should have early. I, I don't know that I screwed up. Uh, sometimes I play a little nice and uh, I'm a little too nice sometimes and give people a little bit of room and I, maybe I shouldn't on a track like this. Um, you know, I should be a little more aggressive as a driver, but it's just how I've always been, you know. I, I, I'm not perfect. I do make mistakes, but I try not to. I try not to let that kind of stuff happen, where you end up in an incident with somebody when you got, um, you know, tons of laps and racing to go left in a race, and you just you don't want to have that tradition of, of crowding or driving into people, you know. So um, 
it might have cost me, you know, not getting the lead early. Um, but at the end of the day, we were able to get the win. That's most important. Um, and, and really, I felt like we had the best car maybe all day in, in the whole pit area. You know, I got to third in the heat race, and um, Lynn was just so far away in second uh, after starting seventh there. Just He was so far away. It was just more about maintaining, being smooth, not screwing up, and, and at least having a chance to be in the invert. We just didn't quite uh, make the invert there. So, But we made up for it on the start of the heat race, or start of feature. How huge is this win, uh, after, especially after last week at the Grove, didn't go your way? Yeah. A lot of just one of those nights to just bounce back. It shows how fast this team has been all year. Yeah, same car. We got lucky. Uh, we didn't hurt that last week. Um, I made a mistake, beat myself up a lot. You know, I really wanted to race again last weekend uh, on Saturday just to kind of – kind of put Friday night behind us, you know, and, and, and you beat yourself up because you don't get another opportunity to redeem yourself, uh, you know, and you beat yourself all the way up through Sunday, Easter, and, um, Easter Sunday, and just all the way through the week, and you, you kind of just, me, I just kind of quit thinking about going to the shop. It's the best way to do it, and, uh, you know, I, I felt bad. You know, we tore a car, but it was really stupid. It was, it was I'll take all the blame in the world. Um, it was really dumb, um, and I, I, I don't normally do that kind of stuff, you know, and, and I don't definitely don't want to keep doing it or have it happen again any anytime soon. We're, we all make mistakes as racers, but that was uh, that was one of my, my low points that I've had in quite a few years. Well, congratulations on the win. Thank you. SprintCarLimited.com coming from Port Royal Speedway with the winner, Danny Teacher.